Alrighty guys, we are here to take a look at the somewhat completed, at least stage one wise, of what I call Torch Tower. And the reason I call it Torch Tower is because it, from a distance, kind of looks like a big old piece of wood that the top might be on fire with a wonky way in which torches display light. But, little update from the last time, uh, moving inside. I have upgraded a lot of the spikes uh, on the interior at least to the uh, log spikes that are upgraded to full scrap iron as opposed to all of the wood spikes out here which as you can see do a little bit of work but mostly just get destroyed. Um, moving up the towers you can see uh, the ground floor there is obviously not usable to me. Second floor here uh, I can use as a sniping position with easy cutouts on the walls and uh, metal grates on the floor I can see down easily. Uh, third floor is very similar. I can see down through the grates that I put in the floor there. Uh, and I put iron bars for windows so I can see out easy. Uh, fourth floor, kind of high up to be looking down through the floor so I just made it a nice clean smooth floor and kept the windows the same as the third floor. Uh, fifth is just a repeat of the fourth. Sixth is the same way. Seventh is the same way. Eighth is where all of my chests, forges, and uh, uh, campfires are. So you can see if we look in the window here, there's three forges there for metals and stones and whatnot. And if we look over this side here, there's some campfires there for cooking up lots of good stuff. Ninth floor is just a repeat of all the other standard floors. And then up here on the tenth floor, the top floor as of now, uh, I've come out a couple layers, uh, a little bit more than I said before. I think I said on the last video I wanted to do one layer, and I actually did two layers out and two layers thick. Uh, I think I'm stretching that structural integrity a little bit. Uh, replaced some of the torches with candles just so it wouldn't be so damned intense on the uh, graphic settings. I uh, still kept torches up here just to keep it nice and bright. Uh, but I turned the top floor into a farm on the right side and left side here. It's 15 by 15, so. Uh, 30 you know, rows of crops on each side there and then the back here it's 5 by 3 so another 15 there so I've got coffee in the back potatoes and corn for my meat stew and for now I just have a little wooden cap roof on here but I know you know where the structural supports are so I could always build this up you know pretty much until I hit the ceiling of the game if I wanted to but I figured 10 stories was a good place to stop and for now on the outside for the design, you know, all the floors are pretty much the same except for my storage floor. Um, I just wanted that to be a little bit more enclosed, I don't know why, I just kind of felt a little bit safer in there. And uh, yeah, so far it works pretty good. I can uh, go down to one of these floors that's relatively level with the uh, walkway here and uh, just shoot them from the windows with crossbow or guns or whatever, or I can go up a floor and stand in the window and shoot down from above, uh, or go down inside and coax them into jumping off the edge and coming to the spikes. And I'll show you what it's like inside when you're walking around. You can see down through here and easily shoot shit. And, uh, nice easy access to all the floors through here. I go up second floor is the second floor. Easily you can see down through both levels to keep shooting if I ever had to fall back. Do you open that? Wait, what? Oh. Third floor, uh, like I said, I decided it was kind of high to do that, so just nice and smooth in here. Again, switch to candles on the inside instead of torches, just because torches are kind of wonky with the way they display light. I can go up here and easily identify my storage floor because it's the one that starts glowing the easiest. Um, and oop, fall off the ladder there. Here's all my goodies, all the boxes, forges. I use metals, metals for stone, for concrete, and a nice amount of campfire there. And then we can go up top. And go over this. You can see the way, like I said, torches are wonky and they cast light inside, and it's ridiculously bright and eye searing. Even out here, it's pretty bright. I mean, you can see the way the reflections are really weird on corn. Um, I wonder if it's like that. Yeah, all the plants have really weird reflections right now. But, yeah, either way, it's a work in progress, and so far this is stage one complete. 
Um, yeah, let me know if you like it. And uh, thanks for watching.